clicked start the recording, so we'll wait till it shows. Okay, the recording has started. All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's mayor manager meeting for Wednesday, April 26th. Online with me is uh, Deputy City Clerk Sarah Harkness, City Attorney Tamara Niles, City Clerk Stephanie Carlisle, Mayor Pro Tem Stephen Ward, City Manager Sean Lewis, and Deputy City Manager Tim Dodd. Sean, I'll let you kick us off. Thanks, Mayor. On May 1st, we have a study session on from Chaffa. Uh, also a resolution for budget supplemental number two. Proclamation for Public Service Week. Also a proclamation for our National Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Uh, now, nah, let's see, removal of Parks and Recreation Commission member. Ordinance amending short term rental regulations. First reading of code adoption for building and fire. <clears throat> oh, that's it. I don't think we really have to put time on the first one, but I don't think it's going to go the full 45 minutes since it's uh, only one agenda or one study session item. Am I seeing that correctly? I believe so. Yeah. Okay, cool. I got no questions. All right, moving on to the May 8th meeting. This will be the joint session with the UDC Steering Committee and City Council. And that will kick us off. Then we'll have a presentation from Municipal Court. A presentation um, study session <clears throat> on code next. And uh, I think this is the uh, bulk plane and just finalizing the ADU stuff. And this should be the last section that goes to okay. uh, draft or city attorney's office and then to planning commission. Any questions or do we want to? Actually, hold there. I want to see what the notes of this item should go right before code next. Okay. You want to assign times? Are we going to do courts first that night? Yeah. I believe so, yeah. So it's hard to say on the UDC conversation. I'm guessing that could probably go 30, 45 minutes, maybe even longer, but I'm not sure. Since there's no presentation, it seems like it's just going to be a discussion amongst us. Um, and then the code next follow up, I'm guessing 45 minutes, an hour, maybe longer. So we'll put an hour for discussion time unless Steve, you disagree. Yeah, I think this one's going to be a little bit unpredictable. The, yeah. the goal of getting the UDC steering committee in was to kind of survey their experience and talk to them mm -hmm. in ended form um, mm -hmm. and that depending on how active council is in the discussion can take a while or it can be yeah. very okay. i agree all right so ready to move on i believe so on may 15th we have to have a victim's compensation fund uh, mechanism for consideration a motion for award of a contract to Iron Woman Construction Environmental Services for on-call construction services and utilities. Um, motion for award of a construction contract to Jalisco International for the Floyd and South Alati Street improvements. Uh, motion for approval of two contracts back-to-back, -back, um, one for Inglewood Arts to occupy the former MOA space and one for Historic Inglewood for the same purpose. Okay. We'll have first reading of um, massage business license um, process. The first reading for um, Eaglewood Police Department to recover specific services for Sheriff's Department authorized to recover under state statute. And then first reading for Old Hamden Complete Streets IGA with CDOT, or excuse me, Dr. Cog. Yeah. No questions for me. On May 22nd, we have 2022-2023 uh, snow season recap and snow plan overview. April monthly financial report, city centered redevelopment negotiation regarding property transaction. That's for executive session. Um, well, that's going to be a special meeting then. Yeah, yeah I think that's fine. That's yeah, right. okay. <clears throat> And then we have uh, June 5th, Arapahoe County Commissioner's meeting with City Council, 2022 year in budget supplemental, and then a number of proclamations. And 
that's it for that. Do you want to go further? Um, just the board and come. Well, we don't know yet, so yeah, that's fine. Mayor, we also to your question at the last meeting, um, Madeline did um, reach out to the citizen of the year winner, and I think that that has been put on council calendar. Yeah, I saw that. Thanks okay. for that. <clears throat> and then in terms of city council, I have um, the council requests that I got were um, Mayor Pro Tem Ward, can staff analyze the feasibility of making Pirates COVID Enterprise Fund? Mayor Pro Tem Ward, as we re see revenue stagnant or declining in sales tax area five as reported in the monthly financial report, can community development, oh, just lost my screen. Uh, can community development CMO and elected officials consider visit surveys or other outreach er efforts in this area of the city to determine if a problem exists? Did I get the preview of that right, Steve, on the declining or stagnant sales tax? Yeah, options? that about captures it. I mean, my, my <laughs> ultimate goal would be to make some in-person visits, but I, I think that's good enough. Okay. And then, uh, Mayor, you had one. What are zoning and other regulations around daycare facilities in the city? Correct. And that's all I have. We we had one, Sean, that we discussed late in the session on Monday, and I sent you an email on this. I don't know if it's appropriate for a council request or not, or if Member Woodward would like to sponsor it, but he and I had a discussion after the meeting about uh, solar backup, and I, I think it's worth uh, investigating. So I don't know if that comes in the form of a council request or if uh, it just becomes part of the overall capital strategy. Okay. Okay, I'll reach out to him about that. Perfect. All right. I have nothing else. Anything else from you, Mayor Pro Tem? No, sir. Thank you. Anything else from staff? No. All right. We were quick today. All right, that concludes today's mayor manager meeting. Everyone have a great day. You Thanks too. Everybody. Thanks, bye everyone. Bye. All right, bye. Bye.